for the purpose of this video we're gonna do this hipster fox so okay uh, this is the stick it paper it's um, I used it to make cards with glitter and these are the tweezers I'll be using. They're for perler beads. They're perfect for intricate cuts. So your stick of paper, it has it looks like this. As you can see, that's where I cut my unicorn. Little flaps for you to for it to be able to peel off easily. And then your glue, and then the other paper side. It has only the little flaps on one side of the paper, and the other side solid. So, just so it doesn't, that doesn't get caught on your blade when you're cutting, or like pulls it or something. You want to do this side down onto your mat. Have it in the paper setting, and then you let it do its thing. And while it's doing that, I'm going to go put the primer, the white primer on my cup and just add, let it dry for a little bit and then just add Loctite to the section where you're going to put your sticker. Okay, so after it comes out, you're going to peel off. paper with its backing and leave the image on the mat. Sorry about the focus. Keeps trying to do this on my phone. Like that. We're going to use shit rock tape. It comes in a package like this you can get it at Lowe's and the reason the reason for this is because it has just enough sticky to where it's going to stick to your image but not stick to your surface so And then you're going to peel the first, the top layer of the paper with, with the glue from the middle part without the backing. Like that. Your mat should be sticky enough that it's going to hold the backing of the So. 
So that all that shiny, that's all the glue on it, adhesive, and that's what you should have left over on your mat. Be, you have to be very careful with this. You touch it, touches anything, adhesive just comes right off. So you want to be careful with that. Leave it there while you get your cup ready. I'm going to go put Loctite on the section just where I want the my picture to go on to. So here's my cup. And here's my image. The Loctite is in that area. And just place it. This is my fifth cup, so I'm no expert at this, but this is the third time I've tried to make this video and try different things on how to get this accomplished to where it looks just as good as the first one I did. That one over here. I haven't had the guts to epoxy that yet because it just looks adorable and I'm scared I'm going to mess it up. So after doing video so many times going to just lock tight the where my image is press it until your heart's content so now your image is there peels it off and after doing this a couple of times, I figured out that the glitter stays on better. Or, I mean, the adhesive holds up the glitter better when you have the Loctite at the bottom of it than without any Loctite at all. And just the adhesive. Alright. What's also good about this tape is that you can go from behind the tape into the little holes and stick it down. There you go. 
Now you're going to go and put Loctite on the rest of the tumblers so you can do your background glitter coat. The reason my cup looks like that is because I didn't like the way it looked, so I tried taking it off. Uh, that's the Tokidoki Unicorn. And there goes my new image. So I'm going to cover this in bling. Alright, I think I've got most of it covered. Alright, change the angle of my camera. Going to grab a little paintbrush. I know I got some Loctite on my image, but as long as I can steal, still see where my lines are at, I'm good. So from messing in this up twice already, you want to start putting in the glitter in the darkest colors first so let's do black which is the hat yes uh, the hat is about here let me get my glitter ready since I just started doing this I like I said this is my fifth cup so I don't have regular black glitter I have this it's the uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs Silk Microfine Glitter. It's meant for cards. You put it on a card and then you rub it with your hand and it gets like silky smooth. So what you're going to do is grab your tweezers. Again, I got these. They're perler bead tweezers. Perfect for this kind of stuff. And peel off where the black would go. Just a hat. And with a little popsicle stick, I'm just gonna put it on top of it. Then you're just going to shake it off. There it is. 
maybe this is not, maybe is that this is not the best glitter for this but this is all I have for now all right my next glitter all right now since I don't have like a dark brown, I'm going to use this. Oh, where is it? This, it's like shining. It looks darker in person. Orangey. And then I'm going to use champagne for the rest of my fox. These containers I got at Dollar Tree. The glitter inside them is like the cheap packet glitter at Michael's. So for that, I'm going to do the eyes, the ears, and the nose. Right. Two ears, one eye, eye, and oh, come on, where is it? nose. So again, grab a popsicle stick. that and then shake it Now for the blue, I'm going to use this one, Recollections Blue. Which is the band, the glasses, and then the little band on the hat. Let's take off the glasses first.
a piece by mistake let's just put it back because then the blue is going to get stuck to that and it's going to mess up our image and then the hat part right here it works better with the little popsicle that way you get it directly just where you need it to be All right, now on to the face, which, he, which I'm going to do with champagne. messed up right there. Boom. Oh well. And the ear. Since this is a large area, I am going to just pour it with this. These are just uh, coffee liners. I need it for your later on too, and it'll be easier just to move it onto, put it back in your container. This one kind of pulled up, so. Let's 
Let's take off that glitter. Maybe there'll be still some glue. There it is. For it to stick. And here is the white. There it is. Well, thank you. That was it.